Welcome to Patty Puckett Pouring Art. Today I'm going to be doing a resin project. Um, in this video I'll be explaining how I use spray paint on top of wet resin to give really cool 3D effects, how I attach large fire glass to the canvas, how I color my glass with alcohol inks, how I make a resin dam, how I mix epoxy resin, how I finish off my sides, and how I attach the glass and glitter to the canvas. So stay tuned, here we go. Hi guys. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready to mix my resin now. I'm using Promarine, part A and B, equal amounts. Um, I figured the part I'm gonna resin right now for this piece is about 20 by 20, including the sides. So I have about 500 milliliters or about I guess that's 17 ounces. I already have part A in here. So what I do is I measure with water at first, then I put it in a cup and then I draw lines so I know where to stop and that way I only dirty one cup and then I can just toss it. I'm going to be adding some counterculture, is it Sunfire? Really pretty, sort of a coppery glitter and then I don't know the name of this one but this is also a copper glitter I got that it's recollections from it's in this little container recollections from uh, Michaels so I'm gonna put my respirator on and go ahead and finish mixing this up and then I'm gonna go outside turn my other camera on while I pour it on there and I'm going to do some spray painting. Okay, I'm outside. I have a respirator on. But what I've already done was I've spray painted part of it black and part of it copper. And underneath this cardboard, I used epoxy sculpt parts A and B, and I made a dam. And the reason why it's covered is because I'm gonna be spray painting over that, and I didn't want it to get into the other area. So um, after I resin, you'll see why, um, well, how I did it. Um, right now I have a mix of resin and I put some copper glitter in it. So I'm just going to be spreading that around. I'm going to go ahead and let it flow over the sides. <clears throat> and I'll just go ahead and speed it up right now. Okay, I have some copper spray paint and I'm spraying it. I'm trying to get it straight down so it doesn't go into the other areas. I'm putting a nice sort of heavy coat, making sure everything's covered. I'm spraying the sides also. So after I get finished with that, I'm gonna be waiting about 10 minutes and I'll come back to it. Okay, here I'm taking an old paintbrush and I'm just tapping lightly. It's been about 10 minutes. So the paint is um, starting to dry on top of the resin and I'm just going around tapping it. I'm not tapping it super heavy, but just sort of breaking up the top coat of that. So 
So I'm removing the cardboard now. Um, I had to take it off now because if the resin dried, it'd be stuck to the cardboard. So as I'm removing this, I'm seeing that the dam broke and allowed the resin to flow into the areas I didn't want it to. So I'm like, I didn't build the dam high enough. The epoxy sculpt is very hard to work with, especially with the kind of curves I have there. So I'm like, well, I'll just level it out. At least the spray paint didn't get into the areas I didn't want it to. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna spread it out down. And um, I still have the, the copper in that resin, so that's gonna show. make the dam so epoxy sculpt see that epoxy sculpt epoxy sculpt I don't know why that's upside down <clears throat> so I will bring you back tomorrow I had leftover resin so I was making coasters in between so we'll see what this brings tomorrow okay I just wanted to show you it dry. Pretty cool. So I have a change of plans. What I did think I wanted to do with this, but um, because it leaked, I'm going to go ahead and put some bling on there. Okay guys, everything's dry. Um, I'm going to fix these, this area here. There's some low spots that allowed the resin to flow into here. The dam broke in a couple places here, here, a little bit here, here, a little bit there, here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and fix those and then I'm going to use some Posca pins to outline the black, but I would have to let that dry first. Remember I said how much I disliked this, sorry, product. Um, at least it's not working for what I need it to work for, but I have to use it because that's what I used on the other. So I'm just gonna show you what I did. It's sort of like a, a hard putty clay like you're supposed to take even amounts of both so as soon as you think you got about 50 50 on this the black is actually you can get this in different colors that's about right I think maybe a little bit more of this you can get it in different colors um, but I got the black so just put it in a ball and then you want to mix it together. So that's what creates it getting hard after you let it sit for a while. But for now you just need to knead it um, together. Sorry guys, it's, it's black gets all over your hands. I don't know if other colors would do that. But like I said, it's super sticky. In case you want to use it for something else, um, this is what I saw it was used for. So, okay, and that's nice and mixed together now. Okay, then I, I roll it out. I just roll it with my hands. You can probably take a smaller piece. I want it thinner. I made it pretty thin. I do want it super thin because I'm going to be putting it on the same area. Now I did wear gloves 
on some of this and it really stuck to the gloves. So I'm not sure if it... Let's see, I'm just going to take a little, a little piece of this right here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this back over here. I'm just going to stick that right in this low area right here. Now I know you're, it's not looking like it's sticking to my, well it is sticking to my hands that much right now. But when you do a big area like I did, it's, it's not easy. So okay, I got that piece. So I'm going to do that um, and so forth. I just wanted to show you a little bit of how this works. I'll let it sit probably overnight. And then I'm going to come back and start putting some crushed glass in here that I used alcohol ink to color. And I'll be back with you when I do that. Hello. I'm going to be coloring this. It's called, it's a decorative filler. Really pretty. You get it at Michael's. Yeah, they have it in different colors. Use your coupons. Anyway, you find it in the decorative uh, artificial flower section. Anyway, I'm going to use pink just because I have more of that than I do the gold. So what I'm going to do is I just got this. I'm going to use this. It's called Alloy. Um, what is it? Mixed. And it's an alcohol ink. Let's see. So I'm just going to drop some in there and, and color this glass because I'm going to use that on the bottom part along with some other colors. So I'm just spraying it, it in there. I'm going to mix it up really good. You don't need a whole lot to color, color it. Amazing. So, and I want, might want to put it some more in there. Yeah, I'll put a little bit more. Really pretty. So you can use whatever color alcohol ink that you want. And if you look back at some of my videos, you'll see how I used the bling on embellishing some of my pores. So, okay, there you go. So what I'll do is I'm going to just, I have a piece of wax paper here. I'm going to spread it out on the paper. Just like that. Make sure I get all of it out of there. I'll just spread it out, let it dry for a couple hours. It dries pretty quick. I don't want it sticking together, so I'm spreading it out. And if it does stick together, it's no big deal. It'll just come right apart pretty easy. Let that dry. I'll probably do uh, probably three of these cups like this. And I'm not sure if I'm going to mix it with some of this gold colored or just keep it this color. Okay, I just wanted to show you how I'm gonna do that and stay tuned and you'll see how I apply it to the painting I just did. So what I ended up doing is um, after this dried where I repaired it, I ended up going over the black part with a couple of permanent markers and now my plan is to go ahead and put some fire glass, big hunks of fire glass. I'm going to hot glue gun those down here in some kind of a pattern. And then I have some smaller fire glass if I need to fill it in. Um, so I'm going to be using this hot glue gun. And then I'm going to use this colored 
crushed glass that I colored with Ranger Alloy Mind and Ranger Poppy Field Color. I used these two colors and then I mixed it up, put a little bit of clear in there, and my plan is to fill in the rest uh, using a resin base and go ahead and sprinkle this over. So that is the plan for now. Um, I'll probably end up putting, when I do the resin part up here, I'll probably end up putting some some kind of glitter, maybe this color, copper or some black glitter when I end up um, sprinkling this on up here. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and let me bring it down just a little bit. I'll probably just do a few on camera and then I'm going to go ahead and shut off the camera. So basically I'm just going to put the glue on and go ahead and lay it down just like that. So I'm just going to go along just enough to hold it. Sort of like a puzzle piece though. So you have to make sure, especially on the edges, it's going to be really hard to get straight. Um, and then, well, shoot. I think I need to go ahead and fit some puzzle pieces in first and then I'll glue them down. Anyway, you get the idea. So I will bring you back when this is done and we'll see what that looks like and then we'll go ahead and do the top part with the resin. So I'll be back. Hi, I'm back. So I finished putting the fire glass in and so I used my hot glue gun and um, in order to make sure it's really secure I'm going to be pouring resin over this and that'll make it real stable but using a hot glue gun in this process helps you to be able to not have to work as fast and be able to place the fire glass, especially these big ones, where you don't have a lot of gaps. But in these gaps, I am going to be putting some glass glitter that I got from Laura's Art Corner. Um, I'll have the link below, and it's super sparkly. It's called glass glitter. And also from Counterculture, I got some sterling snow, and it's really sparkly. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to mix some resin. I'm going to be putting both of these in the cracks here. But I don't want to put the resin on first because I don't want this to be on top of the fire glass. So I'm going to be sprinkling this on. And then after, I'll be putting the resin on to secure both the fire glass and the glitter. So. I'll be right back. I'm going to mix some resin and we'll be right back. Okay, let me start putting, um, I'm going to put the bigger glitter glass in first. I just want to make sure it goes down in the crevices and doesn't land on the top anywhere. This is super sparkly and looks like it's going down really nice. Now this next bit of glitter I'm going to be putting on is very uh, fine. I mean, you don't want to have a fan on when you're dealing with this. So I'm a little, I'm going to be shaking it on and it's so fine I'm afraid it might stay on the top. But I guess if it does, worst case scenario, I can just dump all this off. I want to make sure that I don't but I don't leave any here. Oh, by the way, um, as you saw before, when the dam broke up here, it came down to here. So what I did is I just mixed some more resin and I added the same glitter where it would be the same when you're looking underneath the, the crushed glass. And I went ahead and painted the sides with resin so the sides look exactly like this. And so far it's turned out really good. So that's going to be my background.
for the crushed glass that I colored. Just getting everything off here. Once I resin this, it's okay if it comes out, but I'm trying to keep. So now I'm going to try to put this really fine counterculture sunfire. do another torch and then I will be back and then we can work on applying the crushed glass that I have here on all the rest of the area. All right, it's the next day and I took this outside and I brushed it off with a very soft brush and got all the loose glitter um, and glass off of here. So it looks pretty cool just like this. So today I will be adding some resin into this area and then I will be sprinkling my colored glass on there and then I'll wait till tomorrow and then I'll brush that off and I think we'll be done. Okay I have my resin mixed up in my silicone cup. I have a mold for some coasters standing by if I have extra. By the way last time uh, not last time, but one of the other times I made these with the leftover resin. So you can make coasters or jewelry, whatever. So don't waste your resin. If you have coasters you need to top coat, it's a good time to do it. Have them ready to go. Um, I put my colored glass in a paper cup so I can be able to put it where I want it a little easier. Making a little spout. I have a dollar store paintbrush. They, you get five in a pack. I just toss this. That's what I'm going to use to spread the resin. So let's get going. And this is old resin. So I don't really need to worry about it. The bubbles. I mean I'll probably end up torching it. But good way to use up your old resin. So I'm spread, spread that out. I'm not going to really worry about it going into the other areas. I sort of fixed the dam, but I'm not going to be putting a whole lot of resin on this. Let's get going with this. <clears throat> I have to do this before I can use the rest of the resin and I'm not going to worry about it if it gets into here because there, there's no wet resin into there. I think I made more than I really need of this glass. So I'm going to go over it lightly and then I'll go over it again. Okay, I know you can't see that very good. Let me shut off this light. I don't know if that helps, but I will get you in a better light when it's all finished. So I'll see you back here tomorrow and we'll see how this turned out. Okay, it's the next day. I'm ready to just get this, the loose glass off of here. 
I'm just going to tilt it and let it go. I'm going to take a soft brush and just help it along here. I put it on pretty thick so that top layer is coming off. I'm done. I might have a, just a couple little pieces, yeah, right there. I can just get unstuck. But um, let me give you a close up. I'll go ahead and try to get it outside and give you another look at this. Here's the sides. The resin, I think they turned out pretty good. Here's a close up on the porch. Can't really see the, sh the shimmer. Show you a close up of the spray paint. Anyway, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my Amazon links. Bye.